Some analysts are bullish, and I don't think this has ever happened before. But it's about to happen. It looks like the scary season will start early next week. Why? After a 10-year wait and a 10,000% price jump, Bitcoin is finally coming for NT, box debtors. Okay, guys, we need to talk about Bitcoin because it's the most important thing in the crypto world. And everything that happens to Bitcoin will also happen to all the other coins. Plus, the most important thing to know is that MT. Gox will soon start returning thousands of users crypto equal to about $9 billion. Yes, guys, there are $9 billion worth of Bitcoin. The company will start giving people their money back at the start of July. Yes, guys, it will start to come out in July. Wow. Things are going to happen, guys. Assuming that most of the liquidations by MT Gox creditors happen in July, this means that crypto prices will drop even more in July but begin to rise again in August, according to a study. Uh, that's my question. Guys, this is said to be coming. If I'm not wrong, $9 billion worth of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are about to hit the market. Some of it will sell for 100% of its value. People may hold on to their coins or sell them all to buy all of them right now. Also, the Ethereum ETF goes live on July 2nd, so I've never seen this happen before, guys. It's a little strange that good news and bad news are coming at the same time. I don't think that has ever happened before, at least not that I can remember. There are a lot of scared people out there right now because Ash Crypto says Bitcoin would pump or melt faces. But this marks the end of the bear trap that set up Bitcoin's amazing price rise to six figures. A lot of experts are asking how since the $9 billion will be on the market, right? To be honest, why is that even that much? When we think about it, there should always be a buyer on the other side, like BlackRock, right? Are you guys aware that these companies are buying the sell pressure that the markets are about to feel? And now is the best time for them to buy. Why? Since it's now liquid, right? Guys, if anyone does decide to sell at that point. However, if no one starts to buy, Bitcoin is going to dump, right? There are also claims of 52,000 to 48,000, but here's the thing. You know that there is both good and bad news out there, right? I don't fully understand what's going to happen next week because there are both good and bad signs. But one thing I know for sure is that there will be a lot of change next month. We're in for a lot of change, so let's get ready for anything right now because things are about to get very scary. Okay, here's my thing. So will people be able to buy Bitcoin at 52,000? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. Credible crypto tweets out, no, because it won't happen. He wants to buy it in the 40 case, which is too little too late. They might be in the next bear market. That's why I don't think they'll dump Bitcoin. A lot, guys, right? We might be in the right place at the right time. Maybe the bottom because of this. We're at $61,000 with Bitcoin right now. Had a rough week. BTC was up in the high 70s and around 60. I said I would buy about 5 to 10 million Bitcoins if the price reached the 40s. I was going to use bar stool money to do this. Not going to buy in the 1960s. Don't mix it up with the fact that I already have a lot of personal Bitcoins. We're at the moment, remember, that I'm not going to show you the picture right now, but I did say that the worst thing that could happen with Bitcoin is what? Yes, you just keep pumping it. Guys, you should never dump it like this. Don't ever do this. Why? Since everyone who sees these prices will buy up the whole stock, right? Instead, Max Payne thinks that the best way to make everyone feel better is to keep pumping it up. Right consolidation pump, guys, and other people think it's going to go down, right? That was my theory from the beginning of time, which was at the end of last year. It has been coming true, guys, but it's about to go on. Really strange things are going on here. All of this money will be paid back to our creditors next month, starting next week, I think, in July. Yes, and then we'll see what takes place. What are they going to do with their Bitcoins and that money? Even though the signs show that Bitcoin fear and greed are not seen this high since Bitcoin was worth 25000 Take a look at that picture. The price of Bitcoin was at arm's length. I'm thinking that's because it's not strange for it to be worth $25,000 right now. Everyone is scared, but maybe we want to be the opposite, scared and excited. If you see Bitcoin every day below $30, that's a great time to buy, guys, because every time it was below 30, it hit the bottom. Mark the bottom right here. Where else? Will this also mark the bottom? The bottom? That's why it seems odd, right? This is crazy, guys. Now, hold on, okay? So things look good on our end, but on the other hand, there is an event happening outside of our control that will have a huge effect on the markets. The real question is how much. It seems like every time we go around the RN, the RSI will drop below 30. This is the bottom. That's cool. Is there going to be some? Um, get rid of the split quick dump and then they'll buy back up like this. Okay, well, I don't know, but let's get ready because I know there will be a lot of change. Guys, it hasn't even started yet. If I were a file or a market maker and I wanted to trick retail, I would publish this news at the exact same time that Bitcoin is pumping. That way, 99 out of 100 people would be confused and wonder how Bitcoin is pumping when all this money is supposed to be racket Bitcoin. Right on. Every day that Bitcoin is oversold is pretty rare, guys. Do not forget that whatever happens to Bitcoin will also happen to XRP, right? Well, I'm being careful right now, but I still want XRP to reach about 46 cents, right? 46 and a half. After that, I'll put it in a long order. If I see divergence is that point up around those levels, right? But Bitcoin needs to be watched out for because it could die. In oversold daily is very rare. It has only happened 40 times to Bitcoin in 14 years. 
in that time frame, oversold RSI on the daily in the history of Bitcoin, this has only happened 40 times. It happened again right now, making it an even rarer event. What's even rarer is that it happened along with a secret bullish divergence. In the history of our sign, this is only the third time it has ever happened. But if prices move in a bullish way, making higher lows, guys, it seems strange. But this is said to be having an effect on the market soon as well. This is what I mean, guys. I have no idea what's going to happen. This has never happened before, I think. Please let me know if you know of another time this has happened in the crypto world. Right now, I don't. I can't even remember. Also, guys, please like this video. Thanks anyway. There are people who buy Mr. 100, the person who always buys 100 Bitcoin every hour or two hours, it looks like. I don't know. But again, guys, don't be shy about buying 810 Bitcoin. Yes, that means these people are buying is trade, someone says. Several times now, this has been shown to be a trade. That's possible, right? Not many people have that much money lying around to keep buying, guys. That's from that point of view. Could it be that the markets are bullish? You could be wrong. As long as they have the information, right, to look at from the back end, getting close to 8 bits, guys, from Credible Crypto. By the way, he's optimistic, and so am I, right? So, guys, don't get it wrong. Am I bullish? I'm just being careful with this right now. Let's say we do dump Bitcoin is said to drop to about $52,000. No matter how much XRP costs at that time, I'm going to buy it. Finally, as I said before, the 63 to 64K area in the red area needs to be taken back to make sure that this is really our bottom. I'm hoping for a small dump and then they'll pump it right away, right? So I can start an XRP long. Now, just like it was with our 38,000 bottom guys, this is interesting. Okay, basically we need to pump out of here as quickly as possible, right? Guys, it has to be impulsive like that, right? Guys, you need to line up straight. We can't just go in any direction, right? That's cool. The way the price move seems to say it all, right? Shows that all the experts agree on the direction of the move, which is up, right? That's interesting. Okay, that's what I mean. Right now, it's about a 50 slash 50 chance. There is going to be an outside event, but all the signs and everything else are screaming positive. Once more, guys, the scary season has come early. Now that Bitcoin has been around for 68 days, we are on track for a 2016 to 2017 cycle on steroids. That's what I mean when I say guys are in a hurry, right? But we still have a long way to go until 2026 and 25 years from now. That should make you happy because it will help us make more money. What I hope is that we do this. But yeah, 2012 cycle, right? Since 2012 was such a bad year, the reason for this is that this black line is 2024. We pumped like this, guys, but not as hard as in 2012 because there wasn't a lot of money. Let's move that and say, guys, go like this. So 150 here or there soon. And then we go back down, right? Relax, guys. Take a deep breath and calm down for a while. In 2025, we'll go higher. Yes, it will match all of these cycles together. Take a look at that right there. That fits with our idea because what if we see another one like this soon? And prices go back down over the next couple of months following this cycle to the 2012 cycle of black events. Prices then go up later. It's interesting. So, guys, next month is going to get really scary. I don't know what will happen with the markets next, but I hope it's good. We'll know if the banks are buying right, if they've been buying lately.